bill is about our values and about what we're for, about solving problems. And what we hear from our Republican friends is hate and vitriol, blaming Joe Biden for everything. It's a cloudy day out. It's Joe Biden's fault. I mean, everything. Um, but no solutions, nothing that they're for. We passed an historic infrastructure bill uh, uh, two weeks ago. It's going to help rebuild our country. Um, the overwhelming majority of my Republican friends voted against it. Um, and the few that voted for it are now under attack by the Republican leadership and are being threatened with losing their committee assignments. I mean, that is their response to our infrastructure challenges. When the previous president, uh, Mr. Trump, was in office, we had infrastructure week, infrastructure month, infrastructure press release, but no infrastructure money. Thankfully, because of the leadership of this president and members of this Congress who voted for it, uh, we have an infrastructure bill. And, you know, when you talk about policies that they're against, I mean, I mean, I mean, they're, I, I, I really, you're against the extension of the child tax credit, which has uh, uh, decreased child poverty by almost 30 percent? Are you against um, increasing the, the Pell Grants? Are you against investing in affordable housing? Are you against dealing with the climate crisis? Are you against, um, you know, uh, the uh, universal uh, free pre-K uh, for three and four-year-olds? I mean, are you against uh, expanding the uh, earned income tax credit? I mean, are you against making historic investments in historically black colleges and universities? I mean, I can go on and on and on, but these are the things we're for. What you hear from the other side is what they're against. I think the American people think it's more important for us to tell them what we are for. And what this bill is about is about uh, being on the side uh, of those who struggle in this country every day. And by the way, there are investments in this bill to deal with our supply chain issues, which can also help with inflation. But I guess they're against that too. I now yield one minute to the